Hope everyone's having a good Saturday. Welcome to the Citadel. It's a survival multiplayer server where I do geeky stuff in Minecraft with my friends, and my name is Joel Duggan, if you have not figured that out. If I sound familiar, I'm one half of the Spun Chunks podcast. You can find that at thespunchunks.com. If you're not listening, why not? It's free. And it's all about Minecraft. Pixwerfs and I talk about it every Monday. And we're in Dartmouth Meadows here on the Citadel, which is where we left off when we were fixing farms and stuff the last time. And uh, I guess I'll just give a quick overview. Things are going pretty well with the farms. Uh, I think we are going to head back to the medieval district today, but uh, I want to take a look and see how things are doing. I did a little bit of AFK in the barn uh, just to try and get things going. And, yep, 63, one less. Then a full basket or a full chest. 63 there. 63 there. So these are all working just fine now, which is good. We've got villager throwing carrots and stuff in the back. And what's happening underneath everything is that every time a new carrot or potato goes in, it gets spat out. And we should be able to see that happening. Eventually one of these guys will shoot out a carrot. Anyway, it goes down here, all through these, uh, waterways. Then we have the wheat farm, which is also sending wheat into another water stream directly below us. Oh my gosh, I can't believe that I caught Overlorders 676 in chat. 
That makes two of us. Uh, and then we go this way. Right. So all the carrots and stuff get sent down here. Which connects up with everything else. And then they get sorted. And they go up into our uh, greenhouse. Nothing in there that should not be in there. That's good. The Illusioner. Hello, I always listen to the Spawn Trunks, and this is my first time seeing you on stream. Well, welcome on. Welcome on board. Thanks for coming by. So this is the greenhouse where everything is going. And currently, these annoying bottom chests that are very hard to click on are getting full. That's good. That means that we're always going to have some here. So, quite happy with how that turned out. This defunct old villager breeder here on our right is no longer working, and I'm not sure whether we're going to fix it or not. I should check my bone meal. We're taking the excess bone meal from the wheat farm and we're sending it on to the bone barn. This is my little market shop. I don't remember how much was in there, but some is better than none. The other thing I want to check is the uh, bone meal farm at the uh, iron farm. I decided to add a composter for the overflow of poppies. I don't know if the poppies have filled up yet, so the bone meal farm might not be working, but I thought since we have to go into the nether anyway, we might as well check it out. For a couple of people that are new to the channel, that means they probably haven't seen the Nether Hub before. Uh, this is a nearly a four-year-old server now, and one of the first things we did was build this glass floor Nether Hub with a central Nether portal and a big dome ceiling. That's the bedrock in the Nether, and it doesn't go down to bedrock, but it goes down to lava level. So like that's that's 128, and then this is like level 30 or something down there. It's a little bit nuts. Actually, while we're in here, there is, where do I access it? There's a room down this way. It's this way. Yeah, we haven't finished this off yet, but there's actually, you can get underneath the hub and look around and see it without its glass floor this room got mixed around when I built another room on top of it so not meant to see it from the outside uh muxido thanks very much for the lurk appreciate it uh, where am I going iron farm it's up here So this is in the spawn chunks in the server, and this is where we get all of our iron. It seems to be going just fine. Why are you over there? Uh, and then over here, yeah, the poppies are not filled up yet. Um, once the poppies are filled up though, you can see, actually you can probably just chop in here. There's a composter there. So once the poppies get filled up, we should have bone meal in this chest. Oh, there's a couple there. So either the poppies got filled up too fast or something, not really sure. But good. And then the farm itself is out here. And then all the filters and stuff are down there. It looks like an old school farm because of the doors. And that's because we built it in like 112 or something. However, Alistair, well, myself and Alistair, but Alistair went back and tweaked it even farther because uh, he was needing a lot of iron. It is actually a proper 116, um, 116 farm. We removed the, um, the unnecessary second floor 
for the doors and um, just put this kind of in there. You, you can't really see it from the ground, so you'd never know it was there. Pampered Waffle, thanks very much. I'm glad that you liked the Nether Hub and also fantastic username. <laughs> Such a strange combination of words. I also need to go and check. I want to check my um, Ender Pearl situation. Ah, I'm okay. I don't need any more. We've got lots. Good. Strange combination of cells. Yeah. We're all just a lot of water being held together by good intentions. Oop. Oop. May have taken those poppies for reasons, which is why they're needed to plant. Oh, okay. That's cool. That's all good. That's what they're there for. The whole idea is that two two chests of poppies I feel like should be plenty and then after that they'll spill into bone meal but, uh, where am I going? I'm going to the medieval area I don't think I have to be down here for anything else mm. Uh, things are going well, Pampered Waffle. Yeah, just started. You're just here in time. We've only been streaming for about 10 minutes. And I am not sure what we're doing today in the medieval area. We're going to have to take a look around and see what might um, what might need doing. Um, for anybody else that's new, uh, we have command blocks in the server. So I just got teleported to about 9,000 blocks in two different directions. That means that everything we build here won't encroach on anything else on the server. So you don't have to worry about your castles being behind the um, the central park in the in the modern city, you know, which is nice. Looks like the sun's going down. And this is not a well-lit path at night, <laughs> to say the least. Pretty sunset view, though. Can't complain. That's a screenshot right there. Done. Oh, what kind of logs are in the nether have next to the stone bricks? Um, oh, in like the gray hall? They would have been acacia logs. A little red gem subscribed at tier one for 12 months in a row. Can we get some celebratory love in the, uh, the chat for little red gem? A full year. That's amazing. Thank you so much for the support. Little Red Gem, like everybody else that has subscribed in the channel, uh, has access to the Discord, as well as, of course, the stream badge and the emotes on Twitch. And what's a creeper? Uh, and uh, the new space keystone badge for... Uh, for a little red gem is the one for the full year. Okay, there's a lot of mobs up here. Maybe this is what we need to do today. Is uh, work on the road and maybe some lamps or street lights and something. But anyway, uh, this um, I didn't. Um, I was going to take my time coming in here, but obviously that was not uh, not in the cards. Why are the spiders jumping? That was a pretty good shot. Hey, 
Max. How's it going? Mm. Doot doot. And doot. Oh, jeez. Those he blended right in. More around here too. Sirky subscribed to tier one for 14 months in a row. Thanks so much, Sirky. Wish we had jump scares with the citizen credits. Haha, <laughs> that is one thing you will never ever see me do. Never. Free bones. Anyway, as I was saying before I was um, confronted with a lot of mobs, this is the main entrance to the town. We obviously haven't finished the road. I think I might even wait until 117 comes out with like tough and other things to see if we can't use some of those blocks. Uh, Deep Slate maybe might be cool too. Um, so we've got this main drag started, but obviously it trails off quickly into outlines of houses uh, and stuff here. The last few weeks we've been working over in the eastern part of the city. We did this waterfront here. Still need to work on this part. This building is in need of some love. And then the last one we did here was the um, spice merchant. And so the spice merchant is all done inside. Cosmic Dancer wants a hype train with one, two, three, four, five, no, one, f 500 bits. Holy smokes, Cosmic. Thank you so much. Kendo jumping in with 100 bits on the hype train. That means that the hype train level one is almost at 80% and still has. Oh, nope, never mind. <laughs> as soon as I said it, Jumbo Sale comes in with a tier one five minutes, five months in a row. Thanks so much, Jumbo Sale. And uh, did you come at the right time? Yes, you did. Yes, you did. And that means that level one of the hype train is done. Thank you so much, folks. Appreciate it. Diorite Town. Yeah, that's those are temporary. That It's just because it's an easy block to count. Don't worry about that. That's not. That's not necessarily going to say. We're not opposed to using diorite in ways that it looks good. Like right up there, it does okay. Like this um, this building here at the front. I'll show you guys in a second. We're doing a little medieval town tour, I guess, because I don't know what to do next. Um, but yeah, this has got diorite in it. It looks okay. You know, like it's not all diorite, but it's, you know, it has a little bit of an interesting feel to it. Sweet Sandy with 100 bits. Thank you so much. So yeah, there's uh, this wonky situation here. I don't know what that building is going to be or how it's going to be designed. We can just like walk right into this building and kind of start to do something there. Um, or we could attempt to turn this into a carpenter's kind of shack and shop. And I think what I want to do for that is I want to have a water wheel in the river that's going to turn we'll have gears inside so like if i come in here this is all hollow right so we could have gears inside that could maybe turn what would look like uh, a log cutting station or something like a, a milling milling station could be kind of cool Hey, Joel, found you from the Spawn Chunks. Really enjoy listening to you, too. Oh, that's very kind of you. Thanks, uh, Wobbly Prime. Uh, also a great username. Um, yeah, I'm glad that you enjoy the Spawn Chunks. We have a lot of fun with it. It's a good time. Um, I have stuff to put away, and I don't think I'm going to be putting it away here. So let's go over to the keep, and we'll use the mass storage system for a lot of this stuff. I say mass storage system. It's a storage system. It's not that big. I've already got a blacksmith. We've got this little um, entrance to the keep underground right now. And I think I've got two chakra boxes on me that are just full of stuff that we can start to put in. Yeah, stone, dirt, diorite, granite, andesite. Grass. Uh, 
That can go in there. It makes it so much easier to dump this stuff out. Cosmic Dancer! <laughs> what noise was that? A cosmic. Well, how many zeros are on this bit donation? A hundred thousand? No, ten thousand bits. Ten, yeah, okay, ten thousand bits. They don't use commas, which drives me nuts. <laughs> Cosmic, thank you so much. Uh, that takes the hype train through the end of level 4 and 13% of the way into level 5. <laughs> Holy crap. Uh, we don't have polished stuff. I think I'm sorting gravel. Yes. Triskelion Soda, yes, you are right in time for the hype train. And again, Cosmic, uh, thank you so much. Same to Sweet Sandy, Kendo. Um, you folks are amazing. Appreciate it. All right, so minecarts, I don't know where to put these. I guess we could see if we've got room in the iron box. I could sneak at least two in here. That doesn't need to be there. Okay, that's done. And andesite can go back into... I'm not going to bother to sort this. I can just put it right in the chest. So this this is the, um, the dumping station for the... Uh, Sorter. So everything just kind of goes along there. Looks like everything's sorted already, which is good. Uh, that's empty. Some of this stuff is going to be elsewhere. Bones. That's... I'm not sure where I'm keeping the iron, so we'll put that in here too. Maybe down here. And one of these. Oh, there's gunpowder. Some of these are just temporary boxes. I think all my other wood boxes are elsewhere. I don't know where I'm keeping strings in here. Sometimes it just helps to get organized. Those I know I've got elsewhere. Don't really care about zombie flesh or the spider eyes. Don't have room for carpet. I don't think we're going to need the leather pants either. That's a garbage can, by the way, for people that are not sure. Uh, and this is a um, a client side mod called um, Shulker Box Tooltip. It's very handy when you have a lot of shulker boxes and you're trying to figure out what's what. 
where it all goes. Uh, chickens don't care. I'll add them to the the RNG of the world. Level four hype train is complete. Thank you so much for everybody that joined into that. I truly, truly appreciate it. Uh, K the river cat used a hundred bits two minutes ago. Thank you so much, K. Okay, that means that you, Cosmic, Sweet Sandy, and Kendo all get access to whatever the new emote is. And it looks like a puppy. I know um, Miss Snarky would be happy with that. She had access to the, the puppy emote. All right, I know I've got this kind of stuff sorted elsewhere. I've been keeping the gold armor just because it could be cool for like putting on armor stands later for decorations. Everything else, I'm pretty sure, has a space in my other boxes. Green bin, you are supposed to be in here somewhere. Probably gonna need these. I uh, don't know about those. Probably gonna need the gravel. And don't need that. Don't need that. Let's take the stairs. I was about to fly, but there's um we built staircases a couple weeks ago that we can now use. Someone earlier was asking about a blacksmith. That's it right there. So we've already got one. All right, get a blacksmith set up. All right. Um, why do I feel like I'm missing a lot of stuff? Oh, I see. Okay. Dirt. We can put over here. And then we need stone. Stone bricks, What's that turf box. Means we can put some of this stuff away. Gravel. Horse dirt is this one. Milu, raiding with a party of 110. Holy smokes. Welcome on in, everyone. Let me get somewhere as high where we can chat. Where's a good spot? Get on the church. I guess I could have sticked in the stairs. Hello, folks. Welcome in. And thank you, uh, Milu, for the raid. Uh, I'm sure somewhere we'll get a shout out for you in the chat if someone doesn't mind. There's Cosmic Dancer with the shout out. Uh, you were playing Minecraft. What were you playing? What were you doing in Minecraft? What kind of stuff were you up to? And thanks. I'm glad that you like it. 
Um, welcome on in everyone. If you are not familiar with uh, me or the channel, my name is Joel Duggan and uh, this is the Citadel server. It's a multiplayer server. Currently I am online alone uh, and we're in the medieval area on the server where I've been building this medieval town for several months actually since about November. We kind of just pick at it every weekend and have some fun, hang out. Uh, if you recognize my voice, I'm one half of the Spawn Chunks podcast. I do that with Pixar Riffs every Monday. We cover Minecraft news and just kind of like the gaming culture in general around the game. Uh, I also do the Citadel Cafe, which is a podcast about sci-fi and fantasy entertainment. You can find that at thecitadelcafe.com. And honestly, if you want to find anything that I'm doing, just go to joelduggan.com. Like it's just it links to everything are there. Social media, YouTube, all that kind of stuff. Um, and if you're so inclined, oh, we're trying to grow the channel. And if you wouldn't mind um, clicking over to watch on Joel Duggan on Twitch, uh, that's twitch.com slash Joel Duggan, then uh, we'd love to have you. Love the podcasts. How did you know there was a Minecraft podcast? How do you, how do you know there, uh, did not know there was a Minecraft podcast? Oh, how did I not know? Um, I don't know how you didn't know. But now you do know. And it's free. So you and everybody listening can go listen for free. There's like 141 episodes, but but keep in mind that it's a new show. So like going back and listening from episode one doesn't really do much because it's like we started recording around the same time that 113 came out. So like most of the information is outdated. But what I suggest people do is listen to the latest one. So listen to the one from this past Monday, uh, episode 141. And then while you're waiting for their episodes to come out, you can always deep dive into the archive. And I usually suggest people go back as far as the latest Minecraft update. So like the nether updates like last summer i don't remember what episode that was but around episode 100 something like that kendo is gifted a tier one sub to milu 51 gift subs kendo thank you so much really appreciate it and tyler Noos, tyler neos has dropped 100 bits to support the channel really really appreciate it and thank you to all the new followers that are coming over with the raid um from milu um great to have you hope that you're going to stick around for a bit. We just started, so you're in luck. Um, anyway, what we're trying to figure out today uh, is what we're doing next in the medieval area. And uh, I mean, there's we have a small map mod that just helps us kind of plan things out. Um, so right away, you can see we've got some road work we could do if people are interested in, in doing some road work. Uh, there's a couple of bridges that could use some love. Uh, there's a tower here that has remained unfinished. Um, and what else do we need to do here? There's a little bit of a, a little bit of a shoreline here that could be developed. Uh, and then the bigger projects, which I was talking about earlier, and I'll, I'll walk down and we'll take a look. So this is supposed to be a market square. We haven't finished the design for the square yet. We could try to do that today too. Um, last thing we did was this spice merchant. So this is kind of like a place where you'd buy like salt and paprika and all that kind of stuff. Uh, and it doesn't have any neighbors yet. So we don't have anything here. I was thinking about turning this into a carpenter's place with like a water wheel that could work uh, the milling um, contraptions. Uh, we obviously haven't finished the wall. <laughs> um, but then over on this side too, we've got a, a, a big hole in our main street, uh, which is right here. So there's a couple of houses here that we could build up. And I don't have any big plans other than there's a tower that I want to put back there. But other than that, I've not thought too terribly far ahead on these. So I might have to look up some reference and whatnot. So I'm I'm thinking maybe the carpenter place might be the the thing to dig into if we want to do a building would be my first idea hardcore minecraft man i we were talking about that when i was doing my snapshot playthrough the other day and uh it's i die so frequently in the dumbest ways that i would just be constantly restarting we could have a three hour stream and probably have like three different or four different Minecraft starts if I was playing hardcore. The illusion or I am not going to put villagers in the houses when I'm done because I hate villagers. <laughs> they're annoying. They don't do what they're supposed to do. They walk everywhere. They just walk around going Meh, all day long. Cannot stand them. 
I decided to live in a village in the snapshot playthrough uh, to facilitate a fast start and I regret it because they are everywhere and annoying and I hear the little honks in my sleep. It's not something I'm interested in, in bringing over to the Citadel. So yeah, I guess we could hack at this. Um, I'm not sure exactly what the building is going to be, but we could start off with a rough idea for the water wheel and where the position of that's going to be. I don't need to learn too much more about early Minecraft. I, I don't need to restart over and over again. It's my least favorite part of the game. Yeah, the doors are always opening and closing. There's iron golems everywhere. They just walk into cacti. The first death on the server, actually, the first death on the snapshot playthrough, an iron golem killed me because I was trying to defend myself from a zombie and he got in the way. I hit him by accident and then he one-shotted me and that was the death of me. And I like, if that was a survival world, I would have been done. I'm just like, nope, not doing this anymore. No, thanks. Let's put you, I guess, here. I still don't know where the carpet's going to go, so it's going to go there. So let's take a little bit of a jaunt over to my other water wheel because I don't remember how I did these. I remember liking it, but I don't know if we need to make one this big, but I'm not sure if we can make one any smaller. So we've got one, two, three, four. So it's nine. We could do nine or seven. We'll plan for nine and if it has to be smaller, it has to be smaller, that's fine. It's not gonna be quite so robust, I don't think. Cool. Uh, tools are diamond. I just have a custom texture pack. Thanks again, Milu. I really appreciate it. I know you got to raid and run. It's all good. I do it all the time. You've been at the computer a while. Uh, go grab some food. Hopefully we'll see you back sometime. But uh, thank you again for sharing the community. I really appreciate it. Do, do, do. So I'm going to come this way across the bridge because I want to take a look at what the view of the carpenter building will be like um, from the bridge here. Because it's right there, right? The good news is we've got enough room to put a water wheel in there without too much hassle. Provided we want to keep this in, the, in, the, in that position, we may not want to keep it right there. We might want to push it out. So I guess the next thing to do is decide on how big the house is going to be, or at least the minimal size. Rito Strike, appreciate the, uh, the referral. First things first, I guess, is uh, we'll take out a few blocks here. I do want to try and leave the footprint of this, although we've already put the road there. So this is going to be the corner. We've been trying to put buildings where the original villager houses were, just for fun, just to kind of see if they're, they're in places that we can utilize, but... It's not always something we can do. 
Plus, demolition is always a fun way to start the start the stream. You want a quick way to get a lot of mossy cobble? Destroy a village. This is an opportunity to have like a cool sort of interior staircase and stuff. So we might want to build this particular building from the inside out. Could be kind of cool. For some reason, chopping down trees is relaxing. Yeah, I would agree with that. Uh, we're probably not going to keep that roof. I can't imagine that being of any use to us. So let's uh, jump up there and chop it down. Now this uh, castle part is something I had built. It was originally going to be a different tower as part of the wall before we put that tower over there. So this is something that was built by us, but I just kind of like the look of it. So we might try to keep it. We're probably gonna change it so it looks a little bit cooler. Less like a, a wall tower and more like a part of a building. Sort of like how this is more of a building where that's got more of a defensive top to it, we might put something a little bit nicer at the top. Oh my gosh, where a room. So that is most of this done. I missed the chimney. Whoops. So I can't imagine the inside of this being any less than seven. So one, two, three, four, five. So maybe we want to, I want to pull this forward. So have that be corner. Makes it a little bit easier to uh, get it out into the closer to the road. And this is supposed to be a uh, part of a street or a walkway that will get back here. So I'm okay with that there. What have we got here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Feels very square. But I've got a funny feeling I'm gonna want this tower to be fatter, like farther out into the water. Uh, this is also just a five by five, I think. All five by five inside, so one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, yeah. So we'd want that to be, maybe we're gonna have to make this bigger. We 
need to get up a little bit higher here. Hey, John. Welcome in. Good to see you. Yeah, I don't think I want this to be too much bigger. I'm wondering, see, the thing is, if we make it a five by five tower, then it's only three by three inside. And then there's really not much you can do with it. Really good example. We've got um, a basement to this mill. And it's five by five inside. And you really don't have a lot of room for details and stuff. So I feel like five by five inside the tower is going to be our minimum, be my guess. Uh, Triskelion Soda, thank you. I came up with the hay bale on my own. I, ins I got inspired by watching Jermsey Boy have really light colored wheat textures. And then I made the hay bale m like match that. And plus, plus having a little bit of, um, like, red in it. Do I have any here? Yeah. Having a little bit of, like, brownie red kind of keeps them nice and warm, friendly, you know? But I find the top texture very versatile for this, the one that I did. It's not something people build a lot with because it's such a gross color by default so so i think it is going to stay seven by seven i don't think i'm going to keep it um this kind of design though i think maybe what we should do is have more stuff like that um and then we will move it probably out into the water I'm trying to think about what other things we could do for a water wheel that would make sense Maybe we don't make like a wheel. Maybe we can do something else. Either way, the center of the build is going to be here. Some dirt. So that's the middle there. So that will have to move. And that means that we might want to make this um, either bigger or smaller. Not really sure. But I think the most important feature is going to be the tower. So we should probably handle that first and then attach the little carpentry shop as best we can. Let's get some oak logs, I guess. Some stripped spruce. I guess andesite is how we're gonna have to roll. It's always fun. <laughs> All right, so that's the middle. Um, we're probably going to want to have the wheel stick out to about here. And it's probably going to be in the water out there. So 
So I'm thinking the new tower should come out at least a block. Yeah, so then we'll bring in Bruce here. Well, no, not here. Uh, one, two, three. Got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think that looks right. like that and I'm just gonna go get more spruce might even get some dark oak because do this really cool trick I think it's dark oak so if you've got stripped spruce and you take stripped dark oak it looks wet so it makes it look like the woods wet it's kind of cool. We might even be able to get away with it like two in a row here. Maybe. Yeah. Switch this up a little bit. So that would be kind of like the new, the new way to look at it. I don't know if that would be too low. I need to go back. I need to go back again and look at that other water wheel. I don't know how far into the water it was. Yeah, we did that in the modern city. You're right, Cosmic. We used it along the docks, I think, the waterfront. This is two blocks into the water. So we should probably plan for about the same. So it's two blocks above the surface. I foresee a lot of flying back and forth. <laughs> I may end up taking a screenshot or something just for reference. Oh, I had it right. Okay. So essentially all I'm thinking here is we've got one, two, three, four. I'm just going to put in a cross just to kind of get an, a, a rough idea if we want it to be this big. Strip spruce, that's fine. Other way around. I think at some point we're going to have to start to tear this thing down. It doesn't look too big, I don't think. I mean, it's, it'll be a key feature. You're not going to be able to miss it, that's for sure. Oh, 
Oh, cool. You can see it over the railing. That's good. Yeah, I think the brown is definitely something we need. With 117 likely possibly maybe coming up soon, do you have any projects lined up with any of the new blocks or mobs on the Citadel? I don't have any use for axolotls or goats. Uh, I don't have a lot of interest in the glow squid because the glow ink, I mean, it doesn't do a whole lot. We might, so the glow ink could be useful maybe in the modern city for creating some lighting. If we wanted to do a custom texture for um, for that item frame for the modern city, but like it doesn't really, it's not going to affect us that much. So I don't want to ruin all of it because I want to make a note on the height. The easiest way to do that is just going to be to go back up this way. We'll call that a height marker. Azalea leaves give some options for bushes. Yeah, it's good options if you want flowers on your bushes. I don't find them all that versatile. So I'm more interested in the moss block, actually. If you're talking about lush cave blocks, I think the moss block. We started building a um, farm in the snapshot world. It's a bamboo smelter farm. And we used moss. We discovered that you can plant sugarcane and bamboo on moss. And it's a much better looking block than dirt uh, or grass. Because dirt and grass, of course, have the, the dirt sides. Uh, but moss is the same all the way around. It's cool. Moss carpet's going to be fun to landscape with. Um, there, there's a reason why I've not done a lot of landscaping in the modern city. is because we started it after we knew that um caves and cliffs was coming so there's some things where i'm just gonna like well i don't need to do that right now we'll have more fun with more blocks later on moss block also doesn't change color in the desert which is nice Trying to think about what um, what other blocks there are. Tinted glass looks cool from a technical standpoint. Um, haven't found any geodes in our playthrough yet, so I don't know for sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I guess we're going to go with andesite just because it's easy. We'll do a texture pass on it later. I'm not sure how far up we're going to go. Maybe we'll change our minds. Do a quick check to make sure it looks good. 
Great time when you're ready. Thanks, Cosmic. Appreciate that. For those of you that are new to the channel, I take a break up at once an hour. I usually just kind of give my eyeballs a rest. That kind of thing. I don't know if we have a way in here. Hmm. Definitely going to need some fancy landscaping around here. Maybe a staircase coming down. Be cool. And I'm also realizing that uh, as much as I like these wood corners, there's going to be enough wood maybe in the um, water wheel that I, I don't want it to necessarily clash with the corners here. So these might have to be special, but maybe they're going to be um, something else. This actually, this building might look good if it was more, if it had more wood in it. That could look good too. Or if we could use it as a good excuse for some brown terracotta, maybe. Like something like this, once it gets high enough. Uh, I think everything around here, yeah, that's got some wood in it. This has got some terracotta in it. The in the, the mossy, mossy goat tavern here. Got some terracotta in it. And it works out quite well. The brown terracotta here is a little bit dull, so maybe we don't go brown. Maybe maybe we could use the red over here. That could be cool, actually. Yeah, so I'm not sure about those. We'll have to... We might have to do something like we did. Have any examples? Yeah, over here on the keep and the other towers over here. You can see we did um, stone bricks down the corners. So we could do stone bricks down the bottom where it meets the river and has the water wheel. And then we could switch to having a wood structure at the top. That might be okay. Yeah, so maybe we'll start the wood at kind of like this height. Have some sort of divider. That could work too, because this would be about the height. I guess it depends on where the door is. We're probably going to put the door on this level. I would think. And that does not leave a lot of room. This is probably going to have to be bigger. Probably going to have to be bigger. Okay. Anyway, uh, as Cosmic mentioned, it's time for me to take that break. So uh, I'm going to step away for five or six minutes. Uh, you should too. Get yourself a snack, refresh your drink. I'm going to heat up my coffee. And when we come back, we will work more on the uh, carpenter building.
All right, back to work. It's weird how you consider Minecraft sometimes a working game, you know? Like it's it's a game, but I definitely feel the labor sometimes. I don't know about you folks. So the thing that I'm noticing is that I, I like this, uh, the depth that's there by accident compared to this side <clears throat> so we might try to do something along those lines uh, I also think that this is just going to be very very small so we're gonna have to pull this building I think along this way as well hey Fulmers how's it going good to see you as always we need more andesite and what are we gonna do I don't want to use stone bricks Maybe we could do, we've got some polished andesite over there and we did something on the other side, uh, on the west side of town with um, a fancier building. Oh yeah, okay. That might be a little bit too fancy, but we might be able to get away with something like smooth stone. We'll try it. Can't can't hurt anything by trying it. That might be too, too bright. Oh, elytra and water. Um, polished andesite. I know you enjoy the snapshot world, but man, I do love the Siddles medieval city. Thanks very much. Yeah, I mean, I like both. I do like both. So that the only thing is that that's starting to feel like a small, like a, a small building to have that water wheel on it. I feel like we might have to do like a seven by seven water wheel. 
instead of a 9x9. Nine nine, which will unfortunately reduce the visibility um, of it from the bridge. Not by much, though. One block. Well, I think I like the polished andesite in terms of color better than the um, the stone, polished stone, smooth stone. But what I really want is something a little bit darker, and I don't know if we have it. The kind of thing where deep slate might actually come in handy, but... Could try basalt. I don't know. Basalt just doesn't look like rocks to me. It's the issue I normally have with it. No. It just looks like petrified logs. say that I think I said thanks to Falmers. Thanks for the reminder though, Cosmic. If I didn't, Falmers, thanks for the, the four-month tier one. Appreciate it. If ever I miss anything like that, um, feel free to remind me, mods. And if anybody, if something happens I'm not, I completely miss it, then know that I appreciate it. It's not, it's sometimes it's just hard to catch everything in Twitch chat. Do, do, do. Not a holiday weekend for me. Not a holiday weekend for me. We're recording the spawn chunks on Monday as far as I know. We tend to not take any kind of long weekends throughout the year until uh, Christmas. We just take the full two weeks off over the holidays. So what I'm going to do is going to say this is probably going to be the ground level. I'm just going to fill this in probably with spruce. Get rid of the basalt. Probably not going to use that. Dirt. Yes, I should put these down somewhere. So we're going to go right along here. Might as well just put the stuff in. I'll deal with the basement later. I mean, I guess I should plan to have something. So what I'm thinking is this building is not going to be just there. We're probably going to have to have something else along here and I'd like it to be off-centered somehow but we've got the road to deal with too 
So it can't be really much farther this way. Next screw gun back from adulting. Nice. I didn't have time to do my adulting this morning. I went straight to straight to stream mode after breakfast. Uh, what do I want to do here? Want some cobblestone? So you can see on the map here, we've got this space here, but I don't want to go out too far. I would like the roof to not go past here. So this is going to be where the building might be. That does not leave a lot of room out here. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. I mean, we could technically bring the building right up to the road. Like that. And then we'd have a chance to run it into an L shape, maybe. Maybe something like that. Could mean an interesting roof with a tower kind of coming out the back of it. Could be kind of cool. Uh, this though, yeah, that might work. That might work. I'm too lazy to think. Thanks. We try to keep, we try to keep it chill. Hmm. Another way to, to express it is um, accessible. I find sometimes um, there's a certain style of streaming out there that's very intense. And I find that as much as I like those content creators, I have to be in the right mood. <laughs> and if I'm not in the right mood, I can't do it. <laughs> I just can't. So I try to keep it accessible. One, two, three, four, five. That'll work. That might not be, uh, well, I guess that would be on the interior. So this would have to have like access probably here. Um, this would be probably the workshop, which maybe we'll move this door a bit. I don't know if I like it right in the middle, but we'll put it there for now. Is everybody following what I'm doing here? I'm trying to um, add the building onto the tower. Do you like the floor plan for it? Uh, how wide is this? We've got one, two, three, four, five, six. I mean, this could also just be wide open. That doesn't have to be. That could be a very cool. Uh, too wide, like archway. That could be neat. It's on the wrong level, but what we could do here is maybe have a step down into this building. I think we did that over at the Cooper. So if we go look at the Cooper. I think the front door comes down. Down a bit. And that's this building here on my right. Yeah, step down. That's fine. That works just fine. 
I like that your chat chat with chats with each other rather than just screaming for attention at the streamer. <laughs> like baby birds. <laughs> That's a great way to put that. <laughs> but yes, I agree. It's that, one of the things that I like so much about streaming is is the community that has um come up uh with it. Uh, it's been very cool. So this is not going to be a stone stair. Don't worry about that. But I think, you know, door. Door there. There's room for a window there. Potentially a window there. Although I don't like putting windows in corners. Not sure what to do with that space. We might not have it be a through fair. Like we might actually have a wall there. That could just be a cool cubby for things. Little storeroom, maybe. I think that's big enough to be a carpenter's workshop. What do you think? Pretty good. So we would have like a big cutting board or cutting table in here with shelves and stuff. And then somehow, somewhere in the middle, we would bring up like a rotating gear or something from from the water wheel and this would imaginarily control or power a saw or something just for fun just for something unique and different I'm not sure how realistic it is Uh, so the other thing I need to figure out then is just how the roof's attached, just to kind of make sure that this is going to work. Uh, so far we've been doing higher sec or wider second levels. So one, two, three, and then one out. I don't know if we need to do that here. Kind of feel like this would be good if it was just one level. The tower's going to be tall. So similar to what we did with um, this building to my left here. And that just starts with a regular stair. I wouldn't mind doing something a little bit different, like maybe what we did here. This looks pretty good. Those slabs are on the third, okay. Hey, Wally879. Um, yeah, we're working on a carpenter's workshop and we're trying to use a water wheel in the river to power it, like in giant air quotes. I know it's not a real thing. Um, would be if we were using the create mod. Uh, so we're gonna have like a shop here and then a workshop here, access in the alley. This could actually end up being like a double door maybe. We could line, we could maybe put something there, like a log or two. Um, so then we need to do the roof. And the gable's going to be on this end. I'm going to switch over and get a bunch of uh, spruce. What kind of roof do we want to put it on this? I'm tempted to put an oak roof, actually. Yeah, maybe a spruce rimmed oak roof. There's so much dark here that I feel like having an oak roof at the end would be cool. Uh, the crate mod looks bananas. I love watching it. Not sure I would pick it up. ZF and Tango are really enjoyable to watch playing it. Yes, I finally got around to watching Tango's YouTube videos. Um, on it and it looks really cool i the thing that i find um looks frustrating is that i don't tend to have time to play play much for video games offline i normally stream my video game time and i feel like create mod is something that they've put a lot of time in off 
mic off camera, like not live to learn how to do it. It doesn't look like it necessarily comes with an instruction manual. There's some cool videos and stuff, but it feels like there's a lot of trial and error. And I find that kind of stuff really frustrating. I don't know if it's for me, but I'm not saying never. I'm not saying never. I might have been in the mood to try some, some modded content. And uh, it would be cool to try like a modded, like an Olive Fabric 3 mod for a 116.5 or something like that. Or even 117 when it comes out, just to kind of tide us over. Because I've been enjoying having the snapshot worlds for like Wednesdays and Fridays and then the Citadel on weekends. That's been fun. Uh, what was I looking for? Spruce stuff. Stairs, slabs blocks and then stairs So I think what we'll do here is this. I think that's the middle. This goes there. Yeah, yeah. Good, good, good. That's weird. Is it only six wide? I thought I made it an odd number. Could be wrong. All of Fabric 3 was enjoyable to both watch and play. Easy to follow. Nice progression steps. Cool looking biomes. Thanks. Yeah, I like the biomes. The biomes and the explore, exploration in that was good. The thing with that, hit, that I hit the wall with in the All of Fabric 3 is that I got to the point where I had to grind redstone and stuff, and it wasn't exactly my cup of tea. One, two, three, four, five, six. Huh. Did not realize I did that. Okay, that's fine. Still works. Still works. It's fine. I'm going to get up there and add in a little bit more oak just to see if this is what I want this to look like. And then this would go this way and this way again. Do you sometimes design your builds in creative mode or do you prefer designing a uh, building one on the server? Uh, Cub, I tend to do it live on the server uh, because I just don't like building things twice. There are some things I've done on a, on a creative world like the um, concrete maker in the uh, modern city. I had to download Mumbo Jumbo's you know, design for that and like look at it in creative and make some adjustments and try to figure out what to do. Uh, what else have I done? I tend not to do... Um, uh, like I'll do parts of things like the mosaic in the modern city. It's like this. It's like a, a big, make sure there's no creepers in here. It, it's a big design and I didn't design the whole thing, but I designed like a quarter of it in creative. And then I would repeat the pattern and do the whole thing. So I've done that. Like I've done sections of the nether hub and um, 
I did design the, the iron farms first because I wanted to see how they worked. But yeah, like I'll design sections of things a lot of the time. Even with like Manica, no, that to me is just boring. It's one of the reasons why you got to remember too, like as a content creator, if I do all this stuff in creative, it's just, it's just content that I'm not sharing with you folks. I mean, would you rather see me make decisions live and figure out how something is put together? Or would you rather just watch me put something down like a tutorial without any kind of like articulation as to why I'm making those changes? Because that's the thing I, I tend to be able to talk through what I'm doing, which I think is, is important. So I like the colors here. Just speaking of, uh, I like the fact that this is a lighter color. Um, and we can do a little bit more to it. We can add some stripped logs and things to it. But I like that it's 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 a little bit of um, spruce, but then it, it's going to stand out next to all this dark. So that's good. That's good. That's good. So next I want to figure out where um, these meeting and oh i see what i've done so this could technically come down if we wanted it to that's cool that could be a fun challenge so that could be there which means we could do maybe a stair here It feels a little bit weird. Do some trapdoor stuff in there, it could work out. So here I'd like to keep the edge. Part of the in on a bridge in the meadows, I think, also did in Creative 2. Uh, yeah, maybe. I think a lot of the stuff I did in Creative was probably early stuff when I didn't feel like as confident as a builder. Like, I certainly have more of a building uh, library, I guess. Like a mental library of what I have in my brain uh, and what I can do. Oops, that's wrong. <laughs> Speaking of, that's wrong. But it's just repetition, like it's just whatever you can can do. So here we might be able to just cap that. I don't know what that's going to look like from the side, though. Yeah, that could be okay. We might have a little, like, a little bit of a part to go over. So then here on the top like this and this would be we could possibly do some cool stuff here with like slabs or even oh old blocks basically I just want to get the ridge line sorted Yeah, that's not like terribly tall. It doesn't compete with the tower behind it. Once there's a tower here, it'll start to look really cool. Definitely appreciate hearing why you do some of the things you do instead of another way. Oh, cool. Thanks, Bladed Livewire. Appreciate that. I tend to use both, but mostly creative when designing farm redstone contraptions. Yeah, so f redstone and stuff is a lot easier to deal with, especially if you're designing something really compact and you need to be able to like fly around and like place things like underneath stuff and 
I do I do mess around with redstone more in creative when I want to you know when I want to figure around. I feel I feel like I've been doing some redstone live in the snapshot world and it's been going okay. Like I don't feel like it's it's been a complete disaster. Which is nice. Out of stairs. All right, so that's that line. Uh, we. I was going to try and get some terracotta in here, but I don't know. I feel like this should be an open ceiling. Like this shouldn't be two levels. I feel like this should probably have like a open loft like feel to it. But in that light. I also don't know. So we'd want to have a staircase somewhere, probably here. Maybe not. Maybe we put it over here. I don't know. Or maybe that's what we could do here. That might be the best idea. Not sure. A shovel? Yes, I do. So that could be an easier way to get down here. I like the idea of that being like a storage cubby, but having a staircase, although it'd be difficult to get it to go down far enough fast enough. Unless we went underneath the wall, which is possible. Possible. Yeah, this just does, this doesn't feel safe. I think I like that idea better. Oop, sleep time. Oh, you're welcome, the illusioner. Glad you're enjoying it. I mean, technically, Optifine's a mod, but I can't play Minecraft without it. Minecraft does not work on my computer without Optifine, so I don't have a choice. I could, I've tried um, Sodium, but I didn't, I didn't get the right performance boost from it. Oops. All right, so how are we gonna do this next part? Oh, that's gonna be tricky. Yeah, this is not, I don't think we can do this here. Because then this is going to be this kind of a thing all the way to probably here. And then it'll have to go, I guess, up. Oh, 
not sure. Um, then we've got this thing coming up here. And this is going to continue in this kind of a fashion. Actually, this is more than likely going to be spruce. All oh, right, spruce stairs. Don't have enough. Good afternoon, Zenthanex. How's it going? Hope you're enjoying the day. Yeah, that's tricky. I think we're going to have to just continue this right down. And switch this. So this will go right across like this. And then none of this is gonna matter. We'll figure that out later. All right, that's annoying. Let's cover that up for now. Yeah, so this is gonna be tricky. guess this would just go to here then this wall would go like that that feels very strange maybe we can do something in the corner here with like a rain gutter or something I see a wrong piece. Really what I wanted to do was get the top of this roof. Kind of what I was looking at. Wanting to sort out. Because then I want to see how much taller we have to make the tower. And to do that, I think we're going to go up to the top of this other tower and take a look. I'm surprised I remember the way to get there. It's a fairly big facility when you look at it. Um, I think we're going to have to go at least at least three above the ridge before we get to the cap of the tower would be my guess. And that should give us enough room to do some decorating and stuff. I'll look at this one as well. This looks like it is... Not quite that tall. One, two... Yeah. Probably about three blocks over the ridge. So that should work. This is going to be quite tall. We may have to think about getting stairs up in here somehow. So then from here, it's going to go one, two, three. And then we're going 
have to put a roof on top of that. Wow, that's big. That's big. Maybe we don't go that tall. Wonder if it'd be worth it to do a smaller, like have just a one or two blocks above that. Or have the roof start at that point. Because if we do a roof on this, it's going to be huge. Well, like these are big roofs on these towers. So here, we could start the roof at like this point. So I'm trying to decide if I want to do a peak roof on this or if I want to do a stone thing. Uh, I don't want to do the church thing. I don't want to do those because those look too robust. What about the top of the bridge? Yeah, that's pretty cool. Although they're right next to each other. That might not be the best idea either. If we did a small version of it somehow, maybe use walls instead of stairs or something. And we could bring it in on the top a little bit. Yeah, that might, I think we might have to go back to having the whole thing be stone. I think we're gonna have enough wood in the roof to really make it work. I just don't know about the actual height of it. Um, master psychosis, does it take time to make uh, a lot of structures? Yep. Yep. Uh, from the farms that you see over there, starting with the potato farm, wheat mill and wheat farm, and then everything you've seen here, I've been playing every weekend since November of 2020, uh, on this. And I'm not complaining. I don't really have to think too hard about what I'm going to do next sometimes. Like it's nice to always have something you know i mean we've done some brainstorming and stuff live on stream which which helps um but no it t it takes a long time and if you want if you want some kind of like reassurance uh check out joel duggan vods on youtube uh because i upload unedited vods starting from nothing over there at that potato farm and we i've been slowly uploading all the vods that that do all this there's no editing <laughs> the breaks are even in there so you'll have to skip through those um, but you can see block for block how long it takes. And one of the reasons it does take so long is because as we were just talking about earlier on the stream, uh, I, uh, I don't build in creative first. So a lot of trial and error happens kind of live on stream, but I like that. It's kind of fun to have the feedback and, and, um, and, and live kind of interaction. Um, so yeah, we're definitely going to do this as like a stone build. I don't know if I want to do, don't know if I want to do stone like andesite bricks all the way to the top. I might have to change my tune on this build, but at any rate, uh, it is that time again. Thanks to Cosmic Dancer for the, the heads up. Uh, and time for me to take a break. First, collect the things. Uh, 
Uh, thanks. I thought it was really slow because I beat the dragon on day 452. Nah, you, you can play Minecraft as fast or as slow as you like. Don't let anybody tell you different. You can, it's a sandbox game. There's no rules. There's an unfortunate culture around rushing through games, I feel, in terms of things like Minecraft and stuff. And people rush to the end and then they say, I'm bored. And it's like, well, you're bored because you didn't take your time. You know, I there's lots to do. And if you found lots to do and you've taken you know, that long to do those things, then you're golden. I've been playing the snapshot world for weeks. I've not even thought about playing fighting the dragon. I I don't I only have a diamond pickaxe. I don't even have a diamond sword. Right? I'm just I'm playing for different reasons, right? So you do whatever you see is is fit. Do whatever's fun. <laughs> it's a game. <laughs> really. Um but yeah I uh hi Jess plays good to see you um just in time for me to walk away for a break. Uh just gonna take a bit of a breather here. Uh, refresh my water, that kind of stuff. Get some snacks. It's Saturday. And uh, we'll see you back here in uh, five or seven minutes.
Sorry about the delay, folks. I had to restart Minecraft, and sometimes Streamlabs OBS does not read it right away when I do that. <clears throat> but we are back. Can continue work on this thing. And I think I might have to switch back to using the stone, stone bricks. And the good news is we haven't used that anywhere else around here, so it should look okay. Oh, we need to make more. And what do I not need? Let's skip out on the roof for now. Somewhere I thought I had andesite and stuff, but maybe not. We may actually keep the andesite going. Not sure. It's Nathan. Hello, how's it going? Good to see you. Yeah, unfortunately, I think we're going to have to stick to stone bricks here. A little bit boring, but I mean, we can have some fun with it here in the water with like mossy bricks and stuff. That's about right. And probably going to be andesite. Hmm. I'll go with smooth stone. Which I don't have. So, and decided it is.
this is where I'm hoping that a different color uh, and a flat roof design will make this look a little bit nicer. Maybe a little bit more sturdy. Cool. All right. Hey, the mighty Elkhorn is here. Hello, hello. Hope you're having a good afternoon, my friend. Where is it? Oh, there we go. Yeah, I think that'll be that'll be nicer looking. And maybe we can work in a chimney somewhere. Don't know where though. I don't know how much wood how much fire you'd want in a carpenter shop though. It's the only thing. But yeah, I feel like this could use instead of a staircase going down i'm gonna want staircase going up as well we might be able to fit that in there spiral staircases normally require a three by three and they're also not my favorite we could put a staircase up the side here As a carpenter, you want very little fire in your shop. Yeah, no, that's true. That's true. If we did anything, we might put like a little wood stove here just to heat the shop, you know? Could work. It also could mean that this could have something interesting on the end of it. But I think that's good. I uh, I don't know what... I don't think I want to go any taller than that with the exception of maybe decorations so we may even put the top floor as uh and we might not even want to be able to stand on this you know like it might not be required so we would probably put the standing floor on this level And then maybe we can come in on the corners. Or no, maybe what could we do here? This is probably not going to be andesite, this top part. This is probably going to be more like stone and stone walls and stuff. Oops. I don't know if there's going to be access. If there's access, it might be just a ladder or something. This doesn't feel square. One, 
two, three, four, five, six. Why is it eight long? That's weird. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Whoops. Well, that explains something. <laughs> like I was wondering why things were like being even numbers and stuff. Okay. Oh, I extended it here and I didn't pull it back here. All right then. I mean, it works out so nicely. Maybe we'll keep it. Huh. Counting in Minecraft. Yeah, I'm I extended it farther into the river and then I didn't I didn't uh tuck in the backside. So it's not a square. Um that's fine, I guess. To help with that, one of the things we can do is um have maybe a little bit more of the roof come down in that area. That'll help reduce the the rectangular side of it, though, I don't know what that means for the top part. That's going to make that part more difficult. I mean, push comes to shove, we can put, pull this back in by one. Uh, pushing that forward by one would actually not be the end of the world either. It won't matter in here. We can kind of fudge it. And just have this be up here. The right width. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. So easiest solution is just, I think, to move it. So we'll bring, I should have brought other stuff. Try walls. We'll try smooth stone stairs. Smooth stone slabs. Not smooth stone, natural stone, I guess. Stone, the one and only. And we'll need andesite. Hey, Super Bros, how's it going? This is now looking more square-ish. I don't know what that means for this part here though. I guess maybe we could put this with a slab on it or something. Nope. So yes, I, I didn't bring any smooth stone. I wanted to bring stuff up my inventory, yeah. 
I just find that I forget a lot, especially this one thing that's, you know, we were talking earlier about building in survival versus building in creative, the constant up and down. Although see in creative, what I find is that you can't have as many blocks with you as I want. You're just constantly swapping out blocks. And that's what I find tedious about creative. Okay, that's there. Get rid of that. Don't know what this means for this roof. Should probably go get some of this andesite. So I'm always running out. You wonder why? It's because I'm leaving it on the ground. Uh, Super Bowl's no, it's not hardcore. I have, I don't see the appeal. I was thinking about that when we were working on my snapshot world earlier this week. And like the number of times I've died when it's, I don't mind dying if it's my fault. Like if I run into a cave unprepared and I die, that's me being, you know, it's me not thinking. But we died from an iron golem thinking that we were a zombie. Uh, we died from an Enderman that just one shot at us. Like, I, I don't have any, I don't want to say patience, but I don't, I don't find that fun. The idea of working really hard in a Minecraft world and having it potentially, um, deleted be, or be, become unaccessible because of like silly mistakes, not, not my cup of tea. So I don't know if this is going to look like it's too much or what. It almost looks a little bit too short now. I wonder if we could use a, a, a band of wall around that second part, although that would make it difficult for those to attach to. Thanks, the Illusioner. I'm glad you like it. So it feels very straight. And that's why I'm wondering if we can get some more decoration stuff happening. Or switch the materials somehow. I mean, it's not bad. And this was supposed to go up and then touch the side of it, but this is feeling really, really big now, this front part. I think it could be cool to change the angle on this. This does feel pretty low. So what? would happen instead of those we had stairs this does make things more difficult as far as texture goes because you're stuck with the one kind of block but What if we did this? And just went straight up with the stairs all the way 
until it touches this wall here. That would mean two different kinds of roofs. So it's a little bit more interesting with like a barn gable here and then just a straight 45 there. Could remove this one. Get rid of all these. Well, or I guess we could, some of them could stay. Becomes a little bit higher through there. Only thing I'm not sure about. Although most of that's going to be hidden by this other building too. Remember that there's going to be a building here. Yeah. I always find these stair um, end pieces really thick for whatever reason, but I think that'll give us just a little bit more height out of that for now. Seems like a good choice. Let's go up there and change that then. Do I have? No, I need. It's almost like you got to switch from wall mode to roof mode. Don't think we need those. 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 Toxic Mush, hello. Good to see you. Hope you're enjoying your Saturday. I'm trying to get a handle on this roof here. We're thinking that this is going to be a better way to go. Remove all of these. And that. Oh, that's it. So this is where I feel like it's going to be a little bit boring. I was hoping to put in some stripped oak logs and stuff in the other design, but we can do that on the other part of the roof. We could also fit in maybe some birch closer to the top. We did that um, over on the wheat mill, I think. Take it easy, Rabelais. Good to see you. Appreciate it. Thanks for coming by. Yeah, this is mostly birch, actually. I don't want to go this light, but we could use the birch in like sparing amounts. We could probably um, add in some structures. It's a pretty large flat section of roof. Like we could probably add in some ridges or something along there. Make it a little bit better. That goes there, that goes there. We can remove all of this stuff from inside here. Oh, grab my goodies.
And then we can take this part and bring it down a little bit like this. There. Guess that's about it, huh? Maybe. Hmm. I'm trying to think if we really need this section here. I mean, it does. It does fit with the road nicely. Plus, we could put walls there. We move the window. I guess by moving and making that tower seven by seven, we've now left ourselves with an even number here instead of an odd number. And if we brought that in closer, Well, it would be lower, which could be good. Hmm. This is the part of the, the live building that I always get self-conscious about. It's the, it's the part where like you can't build because you have to kind of like look and make a decision so in the meantime i'll just do the thing that i know i want to change I think we are going to make this out of andesite. So if I've got it. Might as well fill it in. We're going to find out pretty quickly where we want windows to be. Seriously, <laughs> uh, I'm two blocks shy. I have been thinking about, you know, wanting to keep these things pretty simple and not over designing them. So to see, we're probably gonna have to come up with a way to break that up. So we'll have to figure something out there. We could do andesite all the way to the top because we can do stairs and slabs out of andesite too. That could be interesting. Hey, Dragon910200, how's it going? All right, let's um, stop messing around with the roof for a little bit and just, I know that the footprint is not gonna change too much. I'm getting tired of the up and down. Uh, we do wanna put some torches in here though. Otherwise, we're going to have some unwanted guests. Maybe one over here. So as far as the bottom goes, I don't know if we can re really reinvent the wheel here. I feel like we're going to be dealing mostly with cobblestone and stone. Uh, I liked what I've been doing along here with like having 
cobble on the bottom. We're not going to go with any mossy cobble, but I like the idea of having cobble on the bottom. Probably get a lot of cracked bricks and stuff worked in. And I also want to see if we can work in some walls. So again, we'll switch gears from the wood. Going back to... Um, actually, we could... We might be able to get away with some log stuff. Um, that. Thanks for all the follows, folks. Really appreciate it. Glad you're having a good day. I don't have a favorite thing that I've ever built. Toxic mush. There's just too much to, to choose from. Mm, bricks, cracks. I want crack bricks. Got andesite. Got a few logs in case we want them. Seeing as it is a carpenter's shop, I kind of wonder. I was going to go in here and do walls in the corner. So I was thinking we could do. Oh, I want cobblestone. Thinking we could do. Um, these patterns of I'm doing this nice thing on corners with uh, stone walls nice round sort of thing just adds a little bit of detail but I'm wondering with this if we could be better served by using logs to frame it up It feels very early Minecraft, but, and I don't know. I don't think we'd want to go. It's probably going to be too light. So I'm okay with the stone coming into there. And then the rest of this is going to be stone bricks oh thanks so much uh jacob appreciate it glad you're having a good time I don't know if I have a favorite light source in the game, Illusioner, but I definitely have a least favorite, which is the torch. I wish there were more. I wish there were more uh, modern options too. I'd like to try and work on something for the um, the light block that they've added for 117 in creative mode. It's mostly for um, it's mostly for like level builders and stuff. Um, but uh, I think it would be very cool to be able to use that um, and make like a, you know, something for modern city builds. So we're just going to go through and kind of texture this a little bit as we go. Not sure if we're going to be keeping everything like this, but starting to come together a little bit. Now here we could do something cool with the door. Because we don't have slabs here overhanging, we can do stuff like this.
but I don't know if that sticks out too far. Not enough. Kind of think we should it should telegraph a little bit more wood. Maybe here we could do a wood door. Because again, I'm trying to get these to read as what they should be functioning as without having there be signs that tell everyone what it is. That could be made to look nice. I think we're going to do a window here. Oops. Even though it's in the corner, I don't know. We may not. It might be better to do the window here. Yeah. Oh, it feels really dark. Maybe this one. Oh yeah, here we go. Yeah. Okay, the river cat likes lanterns. Have you done chandeliers with chains or fences? Yes. They are in the main keep, which is over here. So we've done things like this with um, chains and um, grindstones and barrels. And then like portcullis stuff with fences. And then we've got chandeliers in here and they work okay. Like they're not it's kind of like the best you're going to get until you can we can get candles in the game which is unfortunately not happening until the holidays if that um that's kind of where i would go with it it's pretty straightforward oh thanks rito strike have you not seen those did you not know about those if you like that you'll like the top of the portcullis uh how do we get up there i don't know that there's a way up there you know Survey says it's hollow. Yeah, this worked out quite well. Having the, the portcullis attached with chains. Looks like kind of a mechanism that might work. And the trick is to use stairs in the in the the slot, and so that way the fences don't attach to the stairs. I want to see what our carpenter building is looking like. That's pretty cool, actually. No, I mean, it needs it needs a lot of work. It's not the textures are kind of clashing on the side, but I'm feeling that that's come together in an all right way. Um, I think I might actually want to drop this, drop this down. Like here, it's a good spot to do that. And then we can just do like cracked bricks along here. We're going to make this probably look a little bit nicer with some more details, but I'm trying to just to get the basics 
basic sin. Be nice to have. I don't know if we necessarily want to have a window here. Maybe we want like a balcony. One, two, three, four, five, six. That could be kind of cool. Maybe have like some double doors going on in the balcony there. Look over the river. Or Maybe it's not like a, a view balcony. Maybe we could put, maybe it could be like a winch, like a, um, delivering, could deliver wood maybe? That could be kind of cool. How's it going, Shark? Hope you're having a good day. Yeah, that could be quite neat, actually. We could have like a something on the back here to break up, break up the roof. We could have like a big, uh, like a, a pulley system, maybe off center here. And that could also inform some inside structure. This is not going to stay stone. I just need something to stand on. Right? So you could have... That might go up one more block, but could have something here. Another reason not to have this wheel so big would be to have that. We might... Mm, maybe we'll move it on this side. Oh, no. It's too close to the door. Either way. Cool idea. Uh, like a gantry crane, river barge deliveries. Yeah, that kind of thing, for sure. I mean, what I would do, it would also, uh, I need to sleep so we can see what we're doing, but you could, you'd be able to see it from the, um, the bridge, which would give kind of like another point of interest. Break things up a bit. And then we, we could also, we could build the barge. Like we could have the barge in the river, maybe. Kind of cool. Rockets. Huh? Yeah, I mean, it might be a little bit much with the water wheel, but you can kind of see having something here, which would really tie into like how open this is down here. We could then have a basement as well, if need be. I feel like we're going to have to treat this side of the river here uh, the same way that we treated the side of the river down here. I think we're going to have to give it like a a stone wall sort of vertical thing. All right. Do we like the change to the roof? Still feeling that that's a really weird kind of squat looking top of the tower. I'm not sure what I want to do to change that. I don't know what we would do. I do want to grab some blocks and finish 
the other side of the roof though. I'd like to get I'd like to get the whole structure kind of tied together. Oh, I need some spruce. Uh, those. Yes, yeah, so this is where I was saying, like, I think one higher would work better because then we can just have it go straight in. To the roof design. I guess this would be like that. I don't know. Uh, are you going to risk some of, um, blocking some of the towers behind it if you make it taller? Maybe, but, I mean, that's happening all over the place. Um, that's why I don't want to put a brown roof on it. Because it depends on which way you walk, right? Like, if you come in this way, sure, it blocks, but when you're coming this way, I mean... This is tall enough that it blocks the tower. Once you get close enough, you can't see that. You can't even see the tower, right? But you can see that one just fine. So, I don't know. And plus, it depends on what's going to go here. This, I don't know whether this is going to be a building or whether this is going to be like a staircase or something down. back maybe we'll trim this right now while we're here Let's see if we can come up with a decent um, seven block wide water wheel design Cave, does this come out over this way? Yes. I like how everything connects. Something we've been working on. Thank you very much, Cosmic. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. I think I just want to get this main structure sorted. One of those things where, like, I'm not sure if anybody else is like this, but I tend not to like to leave things like un like unfinished or I, I want a complete thought usually when I'm doing a, a play session. So here, what I think we'll do is probably slabs. But I don't know yet. Trapdoors maybe. And then don't know what we could do there. I guess this has to be turned the other way. That doesn't make any sense. Right, and then this can come out like this. I think it's a little bit better. In terms of the height, uh, we need slabs for this. Pr 
probably going to be wider than that. And probably going to stick out farther too. Yep, probably going to go over here. And yeah, we'll go this. This will also give us some extra depth as far as the build goes, which means this is going to have to go out at least two more. And that means that that is going to need some sort of support under it. Uh, maybe a little bit farther. Mm, maybe we'll go slabs at that point. doesn't really look good, does it? Maybe we'll just do stair and then full block there. Yeah, that'll do for now. We can maybe put a trap door there later. Take it easy, screw gun. Great to see you. Appreciate you coming by. All right, so that feels good while we're on it. What does it look like when we are not on it, when we are down here? Yes. Oh, yeah, that looks cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, this is the kind of thing I like about building live and not doing it all in creative first. Um, this looks like a face, so I might not do two windows. I might do one window <laughs> in the middle there. Um, that, that looks good. I like the off-center stuff. It's interesting. Uh, it looked really good when we get a chain going all the way down to like something down below here. Look good. It gives us an opportunity to do some different stonework as we go down. And I'm also enjoying um, the logs more than I thought I would. I might try different logs, but I think the logs look look okay. They look good. Face will go away once you build a wheel. Yeah, maybe. Or it might just look like that face where it's just like that, <laughs> right? So I don't know, it's hard to say. Uh, what else can we do here? I guess this could be logs. That is an ax. And I don't think I'm going to do anything else there. I think we're going to leave that just like that. Put our torches back. So again, we don't have surprises ruining all of our hard work. It's a very cool sunset with this sky texture pack. This is Jersey Boy's sky. Very cool. My favorite views is actually over here. It's really neat. Get the whole keep in the background. So I think we've filled in everything. Let me take a quick look around. Oh, hi, skeleton. Oh, we're not done here. That's fine. I'll just quickly throw this in. 
Uh, that needs some spruce. With another one right there. Uh, looks like we need another log there. Oh, log here. This needs to be bricks. And I guess we could do something cool here. We could have like a stone column. Instead of cutting that out, that would give us enough room to do a three staircase there and have like a stone column support there. I mean, it doesn't make a lot of sense, but it could work, especially if we put in some sort of like uh, arch here. Maybe not with these blocks, but you know, some sort of arc there could feel very supportive. That could be kind of fun. And then that way here, we would have enough room to do, maybe the stairs would start here. Might go down there, down here, then turn around and get down this way. Yeah, I quite like that actually. I like when stuff like this starts to come together near the end. We would continue down this the cobblestone and put a railing here, obviously. Yeah. I think we're laughing. I think we're laughing. Not bad for a... Uh, uh, we had nothing but a villager house here uh, and a tower in the wrong position. I'm still not happy with the top of it. I don't know what to do. That's the kind of thing where I kind of have to leave it where it is now. It doesn't look terrible, but it's not what I want. But I don't know what I want yet. So with that, we'll probably just sit there until we figure out a different way to do it. I might have to look up some reference or, or experiment with a few things and just kind of see what's what. But um, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take off. That's going to be the end of it for me today. But don't go anywhere. We're going to send you on to somebody else playing Minecraft on, on a Saturday. So you guys can, we're going to raid somebody and, and hopefully you'll enjoy that stream as well. Uh, if you want to, you can check out uh, patreon.com slash Joel Duggan. It's one of the easiest ways to support the stream. Keeps me streaming during the week. Keeps me streaming on weekends. Uh, it automatically renews. It keeps you in access to the Discord. And uh, it is uh, super, super easy and less than the price of a cup of coffee, which I, I truly appreciate. Um, but thank you to everyone who donated bits, who participated in the hype train we had earlier. Um, and all the subs, gift subs, and Prime Gaming subs today. I really, really appreciate it. Uh, you folks are, are awesome as always. Uh, check out the Spawn Chunks. It's a free podcast all about Minecraft that is um, on Monday. We're going to be doing a new episode. Uh, not a lot to talk about in the snapshot, but it's our roundtable episode. So uh, part of the thing with the Spawn Chunks, if you're part of that Discord, uh, we actually ask our uh, members what kind of roundtable topics we might want to talk about. So you might might see that coming in the future. Uh, Citadel Cafe is a podcast I do all about sci-fi and fantasy entertainment. We have had some trouble booking lately. Uh, my co-hosts have had just life stuff, trying to move across the country, that kind of thing. Uh, but I think I might be able to get Alistair McFly, who is one of my server mates here on the Citadel, back on the show to talk about some fun stuff. So uh, if I can wing that this week, then hopefully you'll have a new episode of the Citadel Cafe as well. Uh, that's going to be it for me, folks. You can see me back here tomorrow. I may delay the start of the stream instead of 12... Atlantic. I might do 1 p.m. Atlantic tomorrow. Uh, I'm hoping to have a new barbecue to put together. <laughs> so that might take me most of the morning. So uh, check that out tomorrow sometime between 12 and 1 Atlantic time. That's UTC minus 3. Uh, that's going to be it for me, folks. Uh, hang tight and we'll pass you on to somebody else playing Minecraft. I will 
hopefully have a good afternoon relaxing as you should too. Cheers. Bye for now.